Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, I'm in the supermarket, but this isn't the small supermarket that I usually go to. This is one of our major supermarkets. So it's very, very busy. And I'm trying to navigate and battle my way through lots of crowds here. Uh, and at the same time, be very mindful of where I'm going. So usually when I come to the supermarket, I somehow or other always seem to end up around sweets. And although I've just started shopping, I've actually just um, discovered the sweet aisle, which looks absolutely delicious. Um, there's Mr. Kipling. He makes exceedingly good cakes, as his advert tells us. And uh, there's all kinds of stuff here from him. Now, those of you who listen... Oh, delicious. I love that. His Big Well Sponge Slices. Those of you who listen to this podcast regularly will know that uh, uh, I've recently been diagnosed as being diabetic. So while I'm walking around here and seeing all of these really delicious things, I can't actually have them. I won't use the past tense because they're still delicious. I could say they were delicious, but actually they really are. <laughs> so I can't... Oh, oh, lovely. I love that. That's uh, Mr. Kipling's Battenberg cake. Battenberg was the, uh, the old name of our royal family. Battenberg. Yeah, well, his cakes really are delicious. Um, I'm not sure what's in the Battenberg cake, but let's have a look at it anyway. Of course, I'm not going to buy it, but uh, um, yeah, checkered sponge sandwiched together with an apricot filling wrapped in almond flavored paste. Delicious. I mean, I can't have it, but it really is delicious. So I started with my uh, diabetic medication last week and uh, it's going well. Uh, my blood sugar level is still really high, so I'm, I'm trying hard to get that down. It'll take a while, I think, but I am seeing a big difference. Uh, so things are going well. Oh, delicious. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's um, white bread from uh, Denmark, Danish white bread. I'm not supposed to have white bread anymore. I mean, it really is uh, delicious though. I think one of the reasons why it is delicious is because of the amount of sugar that's in it. You can almost taste the sweet, you know. Um, now, uh, for some reason, again, I'm in the aisle where I really don't want to be. <laughs> uh, it seems that I'm able to find food that I can't eat very quickly. Oh, delicious. Oh, wholemeal bread. Well, I can have that, but I prefer to make it. So I'll be buying some flour when I'm in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, lovely. I just stumbled upon the fish. Norwegian cod fillets. Hmm. I don't know why fish here are so expensive. I mean, we are an island. You would think that we'd be able to do uh, food at a kind of a reduced price, especially fish, but no. Um, what's this? Salmon from New Zealand? I don't know why... <laughs> why we need to get salmon from New Zealand. I mean, salmon locally would be very nice. Uh, lemon and pepper smoked salmon. What's wrong with just normal smoked salmon? Uh, what's this? Honestly, there's just too many choices here, I think. Two basa fillets with gochujang butter. How am I supposed to know what that is? the ingredients probably loaded with sugar anyway oh yeah yeah glucose syrup one of the first ingredients well I'll move quickly on um, yeah I seem to be in the meat area now so uh, oh delicious venison grill steaks actually I do like venison venison is the meat from deer and even though I am vegetarian, venison sometimes is nice. Although I always think of, um, you know, the deer who helped Santa Claus to, uh, uh, the deer who helped Santa Claus to bring all of those lovely Christmas gifts. Is it Rudolph? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer? Um, let's see, venison grilled steaks, ingredients, venison, 
water, Sh sugar. How can they add sugar to venison grill steaks? There must be more natural ones here somewhere. Um, well, that's the only venison they seem to have. So it looks like this meat has all been treated. What's this? Wagyu burgers. What the heck is a Wagyu burger? Wagyu beef. Again, loaded with sugar. I think it's because the burgers, if I find the slices of meat, it'll probably be better. Here's another one, venison steak. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I might have found venison. Um, but they want five pounds for a, two little slices. So maybe I'll just leave that and move on. I'm being kind of ushered out of the way by other people shopping in here. And uh, now I'm back at the vegetables. This is a huge do uh, shop, this. It has like uh, 20 aisles. But I can never find exactly what I want. That's strange, isn't it? Um, what's this? Panku Street Foods. Oh, it's a little takeaway thing they have. Yeah, so this supermarket is called Asda. Uh, it's more like a shopping mall because they have other shops around here, but it's not undercover. Asda is, but uh, it's like other shops in a kind of a complex, you know? Uh, it is very nice, though. It's called the Phoenix Retail Park because there used to be a car factory here. And uh, that car factory uh, eventually got closed down in the 80s during Margaret Thatcher's tenure as Prime Minister. And they called this one Phoenix because it's literally uh, risen from the ashes. Oh, lovely. They sell bedding as well and candles. What a strange thing to put together, bedding and candles. That, <laughs> for me, that just uh, makes me think about a fire. Candles and bedding do not go together. Um, oh, delicious. What's this? Panini maker. Oh, something else I can't have. There must be wholemeal paninis somewhere. Well, it's better to make my own, I suppose, just to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, all these things that I can't have. It's uh, quite sad, really. Oh, delicious yogurt. Well, that's healthy enough, isn't it? As long as they haven't put anything in it. I still can't get away with that idea that uh, venison with sugar. It's not until you start looking at things that you realize just uh, how much sugar is added to everything, honestly. Um, yeah, a lot of these yogurts here as well are, are not completely natural. What's this? Chocolate. And the sign on the front says, chocolate. Now made with real chocolate. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> I wonder what it was before. Um, uh, oh, lovely. Oh, delicious. Canned fish. Yeah, that's going to have preservatives, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to uh, end here because uh, I've just found the pasta. I'm not allowed to have too much of that, but I've uh, I found it. I'm going to buy some because I do like to make uh, little pasta bakes now and then. That won't kill me. Um, what's this? Oh, tinned meat. Ooh, sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Um, I don't know why this supermarket devotes one, two, three, five aisles for alcohol. Isn't that <laughs> crazy? It is true that British people like to drink, but five aisles. Um, so let me just see. Oh, delicious. What's this? Oh, milk chocolate spread. Oh, I used to love that. Um, oh, lovely. Honey, oh, wow. Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to have that either. Um, what's this? Oh, here's the wholemeal flour. Yeah, I'll get some of that and try and make wholemeal bread. I do like a bit of bread. Um, 
Yeah, I'm definitely losing weight already. I woke up last night and found a rib. <laughs> I felt this thing jabbing into me. And I thought, what's this? And I thought, oh, it's one of my ribs. It's part of my body. I was surprised, really. Uh, it's funny how as you lose weight, you discover bits of yourself you didn't have before. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to see, oh, dried fruit. Oh, I can't have that. She told me no. They sent me to this nurse who told me what I could and couldn't eat. But the most bizarre thing was the fact that she was actually huge. <laughs> I mean, it's very funny when a really huge person tells you that you're obese. She looked at me and she said, oh, you're obese, meaning that I was fat. And I just wanted to like get a mirror and say, oh, shall we just check who's the most obese in this room? and hold up a mirror. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Um, oh, delicious. Ice cream cornets. Lovely. Oh, they've got Christmas stuff here already. Christmas pudding. Oh, wow. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon. Bye.